Hello guys, we have review and unboxing first of all a Dell dock station. So this is particularly universal a Dell Universal Dock Station. Uh, so the model D6000. Here we go. Uh, D6000. So yeah, the whole idea. Let's before opening, let's go through the box pack. So it support USB-C, and again, this is support USB-C and and do not support uh, Thunderbolt 3. So uh, we will be working also with Dell Latitude 5285. Uh, it has only two USB ports, but no. Thunderbolt 3 port, so this guy should help us resolve again. It has the capability also to regular 3.0 and support up to 5K monitor. So let's go through the specs on the box. So we have again uh, uh, compatibility 3.0 and uh, USB-C. Uh, also out we will have Four USB 3 and even one USB C out, which is good audio combo. Uh, yeah, gigabit Ethernet, uh, also power delivery, so basically it could be to notebook to uh, 35 uh, watts. Uh, to, uh, and, and yeah, so other than that, and just different languages. Okay, so let's do this one. So as you can see, it's adapter one or another. So I'm not sure if I like it because if you don't use this ever, so it's kind of redundant. After that, as advertised, that it could support uh, as, uh, up to four, four uh, three, sorry, three 4K monitors. And the main beauty of uh, uh, of this, uh, it works uh, 4K monitor for dual, they said, but on online they also saying it's four. So technically, seeing HDMI. Uh, also display port, display port full, it's power, also Ethernet to USB and uh, again combo 3.5, hello Apple. So yeah, and again in front we will have another two USB and one USB-C. Let's open up. Okay, and we have it, so ta-da, so we have dock itself. I would say it's not too heavy, as I would expect. So that's it. Nothing here. Oh, so dual link, all that stuff. We'll unpack it. And again, USB 3.0 for one, and USB C. That what we needed. Here we go. So let's put this aside. Let's see what else do we have in the box. We should have like, some other stuff. So yeah, another box, and here's basically that's it. So yeah, we have power connector. We need definitely this, and it looks like nothing else here. Okay. And another box. It should be power, power adapter. Whoa, man, it's big one. Yeah, and here's we have one setty. Uh, what uh, what a uh, regular uh, regular. Dell uh, charges that most probably you have from other Dell, for example, Alienware. So they use all this. So most probably, if you're into this ecosystem, Dell ecosystem, most probably you can reuse. But make sure that it will be powerful enough. And again, this one is one setting. And what else we have? Uh, and we have the whole quick start and guide. I say using uh, 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 before another Dell and the Alienware, so I do have, so I will most probably don't need as, uh, unbox this one, so we'll eliminate at least this kind of part of unboxing. Good for me. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back, and we have only dock itself. So again, uh, we covered the uh, unboxing and. Uh, again, back to dock. Why I surprised that I use it a similar a box, not similar, but another dock from uh, uh, Microsoft Surface 3, and it was way too heavy. This one, I don't know, maybe half a pound or something, and cable maybe uh, have another way. So let's open this. Nicely packaged. It. Hmm. They, they created it basically you can yeah let's inside so so we have Dell logo so it's again let's go through uh, 
3.5 combo uh, audio and mic to 3.0 and USB-C uh, or 3.1 again uh, you can lock this if you, if you enter the let's say, office environment uh, also here it's I'm not sure it's another power or something I need to figure out what this uh, again is 3.0 Ethernet uh, display port uh, full and HDMI and power again like this so again uh, okay so let's connect to the PC and see how it goes again the whole idea to use USB-C so I will pull this plug again it's go inside if you're curious it basically creates a whole connection so uh, 3.0 is out so I'll push it as far as I can just make sure it wouldn't be visible let's connect power and we have light right now it's orange let's figure out what light stands for and it has no no power uh, button so it, it looks like by default will be every time on so yeah we could hear and again let's boot up a uh, laptop all right so we have this one uh, laptop is on so the idea is that we at least need uh, to have yeah let's do let's try hdmi i have hdmi ready here so connect it to this monitor so ultra wide in this case so it's not 4k but as close as it can get so we can do this one and i don't know i will connect so we're connecting HDMI, nothing happening because I didn't connect, so it's still, you can still see it's orange. And what I'm doing here, so let me do this, make sure that you guys will see it. Again, this guy has uh, two, uh, so you can see this has two USB-C, uh, and again, don't be misled, display port, it's not display port. If you do, uh, if I would have display port 3, I would found very uh, more elegant solution and I would say cheaper and more effective dock station. So yeah, let's plug it in. Nope. Let's see what's happening. So dock change it to white just some indication of something device is setting up it says hmm. it's gone Let's see. and we got the another screen here ha it works no so windows looks like has all drivers installed so automatically install it so even identify it that uh, yeah uh, let me change some settings here so you can follow what I'm doing here so we have two screens one as uh, this guy is uh, 1920 by uh, 1280 so this one all good and this is ultra wide so let's see it's here it's identified the original 3440 by 1440 uh, ultra wide all good uh, just let's go and check uh, advanced display setting and let's see the frequency so yeah i know that through hdmi my support guy only 49 or 50 hertz and this is set it so all good so yeah just out of the box it works very well so what i last things i will do it's connect through display port so we'll check that we have normal 60 hertz and we get so luckily i found the cable so we're talking about a display port and again i will connect to this ultra wide uh, monitor to so it's it has couple connection and one of them a uh, display port and hdmi again hdmi we could, uh, check it it's 50 hertz so it's time for display port for 60 hertz. so i connected this one uh, this and if you can see hdmi is still there let's see how it's react i will connect whatever it's close here let's do this guy uh, monitor says like hey what do you want to do and I'm saying yes please do display port and we got it here we go so seems to be work so we'll just make sure that we have seamless experience let me mm, how we can do this so just make sure 
so we have this the whole logistics is uh, uh, and also let me check what's happening oh we have like three monitors looks like let's go back <laughs> look at this craziness <laughs> you know what <laughs> what's happened we just triggered the system so let me make sure that it wouldn't be too blurry oh, here we go we have original one uh, we, we have HDMI and we have display port anyway so let's go display settings we have uh, I don't know guys if you can see let me go closer uh, we have 50 and we have 60 so we have all all of them at once so yeah let me unplug HDMI so you can see how I'm doing this just HDMI out yeah, here we go and we just get screen here and screen here so again this one and let's check and uh, no and what I will, as you can see also guys it also charging so which is great again it's truly one cable solution if you can have everything clean and it will be kind of in my case if you can imagine uh, one laptop uh, laptop will be charged and displayed to it in this case only one i will have another setup to two 4k monitors so it will work perfectly fine and it looks like it's capable to do even more uh, to connect again three 4k monitors and another trick that i would like to do uh, here for example i have another adapter here so let me unplug and I would like to check if that USB-C can be daisy chained chain it. so uh, what does it mean that I will, would like to use this simple adapter this is USB-C to uh, HDMI in this case so connecting I will try to connect this guy through uh, uh, USB-C port that we have here Uh, might be limited it keeps it says something but I'm not sure what yeah it's still thinking about nope looks like it didn't work it's pop it hold on I will switch a uh, monitor to input to HDMI one in this case and let's see if it will make it Now looks like it doesn't like a daisy chain, so we'll try it again. Plug, unplug. Let's see how Windows. It says make sure display port connecting to support your PC. This message for troubleshooting. So it looks like no luck. The uh, daisy chaining, but I'm pretty sure the dock should at least support uh, the data uh, uh, capabilities through USB-C. This one. So okay, guys. So I guess. That's, that's it for now so again it was review Dell dock stations uh, D6000 again it uh, seems to be capable support up to 3 4k monitors or even 1 5k uh, monitor so yeah and uh, we check at everything we need if you have any questions let me know and see you in the next one thank you bye bye